Hey guys and welcome back. Gonna do a little review on a vintage figure. This is the Action Man Extreme Climber. So this is a figure that came out in 1999. I do remember when it came out and I did have it. Uh, did get lost in a move. But uh, figured I'd pick it up. Uh, this particular one is... Uh, I wiped down the packaging but uh, it did arrive pretty gross. It's got some... Uh, slime and crud and everything in the uh, package it's not mint uh, on card but the figure of course is mint and I can see the card is a little bit roughed up uh, giving you a look all the way around there's a cool shot of uh, the figure in action or a uh, artist rendition of it Let's come with a suction cup and those were some of the other figures you could get in the wave. Um, and you'll also notice on the packaging itself, it does have Fox Kids up here in the corner. This was a cartoon that was running at the time. Again, 99 this is also about the same time that the uh, Survivor show was going on. I thought it was a pretty cool figure. This is very basic. He just comes with shorts and a couple of accessories. So I'm going to crack it open and give you guys a better look at Action Man. Stay tuned. Alright, so here is the figure out of package. He does come with a pair of sunglasses. That's what he looks like with them on. And removing them, that's the face sculpt. Not too bad. It's a pretty cool uh, head sculpt. Nice detail for the hair. Uh, here's an overall look of the figure. He's got uh, some rubberized shoes for rock climbing. Uh, there is his suction cup. A uh, little rock thing. Kind of weird, but it does work. Uh, he does have some um, type of tiger stripe shorts. And then he has a harness on him. does have a loop. I don't know what that is for, but spinning the figure around. You'll see he also has an Action Man tattoo on his shoulder. And he also has a 9mm handgun right on the back. So, pretty good detail on that. This is uh, just a reuse from the Hall of Fame line. But uh, I guess it gets the job done. Uh, in terms of articulation, uh, there is an Action Man symbol on the back of the shorts. But as far as articulation goes, uh, not terrible, not uh, amazing. Uh, this is an upgraded body over the Hall of Fame, so there is a few extra points of articulation. Head is on a simple swivel left and right. Shoulders, of course, forward, back, out. Got an upper bicep swivel. He's got a, a 90 degree bend at the at the elbow and a hinge and swivel at the wrist. Uh, there is no waist articulation on the figure, but his legs could kick forward about that far, out pretty much all the way, and he had a ratchet system for his knee and then a simple hinge at the foot. So not too bad in terms of articulation, but again, we've all seen better all right so with this figure in the end it was a product of the 90s uh, the bodies were a little bulky uh, pretty muscular but not super articulated uh, there was a lot of different variations of action man especially this era from the 90s and even into the very early 2000s they made multiple versions. They've even made eagle eye versions of this style of figure. So they made a lot of cool stuff. This is one of the basic figures. Uh, we didn't get a ton of these in the United States. I noticed searching on eBay. Uh, the global market was a lot more varied. There was a lot more product for them. Vehicles, cars, helicopters, all different kinds of different sets. But uh, as it stands, the Action Man series of the 90s was a pretty cool series. Uh, it does pale in comparison to the 
action man figures that were released you know from the 60s 70s and 80s in the uk but it's still a nice part of the tradition of action man they did make some interesting figures and uh, some pretty cool stuff so hope you enjoyed taking a look at the extreme climber and as always guys thanks for watching